Want some candy? What is up, fellow goobers and gales -er. You got a piece of metal stock here. I'm gonna be taking the radio, the push button start, the accessory, and whatever this button is, I can't remember off the top of my head, but this this is how we start the van because the key was taken out. There's another kill switch, but I'm not showing you, so. I wanna put this, all this stuff down here, like a nice instrument panel, including the gauges, like in a nice instrument panel because I think that would look way better in this thing than just sitting here and you got your gauges and radio all right here at hands reach instead of up here because to be honest, this is all filled with mouse piss and shit anyway. Let's see if I can create something, fab something up. If I can't, then I'm buying, I'm selling it. I'm selling it, baby. Honestly, now I'm thinking about it. I kind of have this line drawer right there. I think I'm just going to fold each side back so that this thing to sit kind of like this. Like I want the interface to be pointed towards the driver. I'm thinking about just folding this in this side in so I don't have to do too much cutting just so it looks a little bit neater. Uh, I don't want any of the sharp cuts and stuff being on the outside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this down on a line. I'm going to, I'm pretty sure, like right about here. And I'm going to make the line here because I do not have a brake to bend sheet metal. But we're going to make a, a makeshift one out of a C-clamp and a 2x4. I think I'm going to make it a little bit angled too just because I kind of want to... I want to make it like almost like very, you know, contoured with whatever I'm making for right now. So I have at least the first bend. Catch this with my foot. Crocs and sheet metal do not mix, by the way. So yeah, kind of like this. I know it looks crooked, but it's not. It's not. I swear to God. So I got another line kind of right there. So I'm going to bend it right there. I kind of have this contoured a little bit. Um, hopefully... Uh, it comes out well. I know it's not going to be perfect because I'm fabricating it. So, obviously, with fabrication comes a lot of... Uh, we're jumping forward a little bit. I took the gauges out. I'm, you know, sanding these holes out good so I can actually fit the gauges in there. As you can see, it's not going to look the greatest, but it'll look decent for what I'm doing. It is indeed the next day. Um, we have the holes cut out for the gauges. Now we're taking out the radio out of this mess of wires we got going on. Basically, we're gonna, um, get this out completely so that I can make it a template to put up there. Because I would really love it to be really neat, slick looking, just like, um, a bikini babe, pretty much, so. As good as that, let this get, let get it out, get good, and get in there. Ugh. Guys, we finished her up. Not like finish, finish, but we gotta paint it still. I'm gonna paint it black, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have someone do like a type of mural deal on it. You know what I mean? But I like it. Driver position, you know, right there. Boom! Click the starter. Boom! Put the radio on. Boom! See what your gauges at. Ah! But uh, yeah. So fab that shish up real nice. Rivets, everything wired. It was a fucking nightmare. But anyway. Stay tuned for some more content. Rebuild that shit. Yo, yo, yo. Kiss your mom.